Oh, that's right. Okay, it's been a hot minute. I've got several videos. I wanted to wear my spooky haunted mansion shirt. Um, so for this video, I've got two bibbity boxes and a chum shake. That's my son's pit bull. So I have <laughs> these are not subscription boxes. These are the pre-order Halloween stuff. I have not, I've canceled all my subscriptions until January or February. Going to Disney. But this one's a little bit open. Um, but anyway, I had, I ordered like four of these. And I don't know if they combined any. So we're going to find out. I did get notification that these were coming. And... They came regular mail, first of all. Okay, excuse me for not putting on any kind of makeup or anything. We go on all natural today. Well, anyway, so I, um, uh, I've been running like every day, preparing for this half marathon, and I worked up. So I'm going to be pretty much so prepared for the parks. I can only imagine. All right, so I love the box, first of all. Can we just, I know everybody's got to do it, but I got to do it too. Like, it's like they recycled the Christmas um, truck there. And they have the um, Hollywood Tower of Terror. Or is it HTH? Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, let's crack into it. I'm not going to focus on the box. Because I know everybody fast forward to this part. Because I know I do. Alright, so this special order. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I know which one it is. I see a backpack. All right, it has a cute baby sticker. And, ooh, what is this? Okay, 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 okay. It has a tumbler. And so I was like, what is, I don't know what this was supposed to be, but there is nothing, there is nothing in the contents of this. So I don't, all right, y'all, let's find out together. A hat. I won't wear this hat because I don't wear hats. But it came in the bundle and I wanted what was in the bundle. So this is by Doodlebug Boutique. Listen, nothing personal against the hat. It is super cute. I love the little rip in it and how they like faded it. It is really, really adorable. Well done. I'm not a hat person. My noggin's too big for a hat, okay? I did order, um, I ordered like four because I wanted I wanted the tumblers and I wanted the one pair of ears because I'm going to Disney. All right, so here is the backpack. Now, I have Mickey coming through somebody. Um, I don't think it is Bibbity. could be Bibbity. I've lost track. It could be Jalugo. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. But, oh, yes, she's got her, her ears. I have probably now more than enough Halloween bags, and I need to stop, even though I'm getting Mickey. I need to stop with the Halloween bags. Okay, there's like a truck stuck outside. There's a FedEx truck stuck outside. So what I was starting to say, um, these two big boxes were shoved in my mailbox, and the door was like left open. Thankfully, I was working from home, happened, and I only ran up to like the gas station and came back, and the door is open. I'm like, excuse you? So, yeah, you got this cute little thing for the ears to protect the ears. And if I can get them off. It's like, yeah, Minnie is so cute. Black. Oh, it says boo. It says boo. And it has, um, the boo actually has, I gotta put this in here, the mini ears. Oh, was I supposed to get something else? Like, I don't understand why. Oh, it has a little front zippy. It's a hidden zippy. Why did I get... I don't understand why I got this. Was I supposed to get something else in here? I don't... Maybe Vivity can reach out to me if they watch this. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Oh. Alright. So, this is the lining. It's got a really soft leather. It's pleather. But that soft feel, and let's see what kind of um, packaging she has. Like, 
for, okay, it's not a zipper, but it's the same lining, not a zipper. I like the zipper ones personally. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Fancy schmancy. I didn't even brush my hair, y'all. I'm sorry, I've been running around today. I really wanted, I was excited. Oh, I know it was supposed to be in there. Never mind, I found it. It's loosey goosey in here, but we'll do that last. <laughs> this little mug or tumbler comes with, I don't even know what, oh, there it is. Came with this. Okay, so look, my nails match. Oh my gosh. So I am obsessed with, oh, boo to you, with girly girl tumblers. And yeah, I know some people are like, oh my gosh, why would you spend that much on a tumbler that's not for me and I get you girl I get you or, or guy um but I mix my own water and stuff and sometimes the packaging of the water bottle is like not enough so I like to have one of these and then nobody really knows what I'm drinking so I can have whatever I want but she has beautiful sparkles just like my nail polish which I did myself <laughs> um, boo to you and then you can see at the bottom where it says bibbity and then I believe it says girly girl yeah girly girl creations and then it tells you hand wash only love it love it love it not just the backpack I wanted this one and I wanted another one so bad so okay here's the last item this is oh this was the door you shut the front door sorry I'm like holding the last item in my hand too it look at it it glows oh so worth the wait okay so this is a Lillian and Co I believe I think I don't know it could be a small shop I don't know there's no there's, there's like no um packing slips or information literally it was this and then this <laughs> but I believe this is a Lillian and Co oh okay I'm like where's the class that that's what it is right there so you can just kind of put it on not a very good hand model so I'll let y'all just kind of look at the boo so cute so it's orange white yellow and then a ghost and that is that okay so that is it for this box and on to box number two I'm gonna sit this behind me in my little haunted mansion chair. Okay. Oh, stuff just falling all over, y'all. All over. I'm filming this in the daytime, and I have window, and I just don't even know what's going on. So, just so you can see, peeling it off here first. The box got a little crushed, but I'm sure this one's heavy. But I mean, these aren't surprises. I know what I ordered. I just don't know in which order I'm getting it. And the email does kind of give you a spoiler, but I didn't bother to click on it. Okay, same design. We're not going to go over that. Oh, this one doesn't have the purple paper. Excuse me? Right away. We know what we got. Okay, so I got another tumbler. And I got nah, a candle. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, one at a time, girl, one at a time. Just so excited. Okay, I will have more. I know that they're like shipping out as they can, and I'm excited to have the. I placed these really early on though. Like the day they were like, listen, come and get it. My husband's gonna be like, how many of these tumblers do you really need? All right, so Sanderson sisters. So this is the black flame candle and if you look again it matches my nail polish I didn't plan this I swear to you I kind of was just dabbling with a couple of nail polishes I had and I, I have my own like gel like LED thing so but this is textured you can kind of see and this is all glittery it's not showing up like oh there it is a little bit so this is in the back is Nikki and then <laughs> We have Bibbity again, Girly Girl Creations, and even though I know mm, this is going to cause a little controversy, I'm not a huge Hocus Pocus fan. Yeah, I said it. Ooh. I'm also not an NBC fan. I know, I know. Gasp. I can't. I've tried to watch 
I can't get past the first 15 minutes. I just can't. I try. My son loves NBC. Loves, loves, loves. And, you know, the Sanderson sisters, nothing against them. I just never really got into it. So, anyway. I got this hoodie. Oh, it's not a hoodie. It is just a sweatshirt. And it matches that tumbler. It's black. This is going to be really big. But I am for it. Fuzzy, anyone? Um, so, yes. We have, an, does it have pockets? Nope. It's just the, the plain sweatshirt. Okay. I wanted the tumbler. Okay. I wanted the tumbler. It looked cool. When I ordered it, I didn't really know it was Sanderson Sisters, so I still think it looks cool. I like it. I enjoy it. I wanted it. This I didn't want. And if I could have substituted, I would have. If I would have waited a little bit, I probably could have. But you know how the do these get smaller or is it is it just me? I don't know. The little stickers coming off. Okay, so. It stuck to my hair. Did you see that? It attacked me. <laughs> um, this is the black flame candle, and it says Bibby on it. It's just a sticker over it, and then this tells you there's a scrapper pin in there. I'm sorry, it's a scrapper pin. It doesn't say scrapper. We hope you enjoy your treasure hunt. Always be sure to let the silver prize. My hair is like. <coughs> The silver prize become fully visible and put out the flame before removal. Never leave an open flame unattended or near children or pets. Okay, yes. And then at the top here is the company that is by, which I'm not going to say it out loud because I don't like them. Because isn't Bibby 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 I mean, it's got glitter. I like glitter. Matches my nail polish. I think it goes with the theme. I kind of figured it would be like this. So, I guess we'll see what scrapper pin we're going to get with this one. I'm blown out. Woo! Alright. I will. I'm going to burn it. I got it. I paid for it. I'm going to burn it. And I will insert the scrapper pin here. But my whole thing lit up. Um, yeah. I, Okay. Hmm, little backstory before I get hate in the comments. I'm gonna get it anyway. So, forgot to put this back. With these, this particular candle company, I don't hold back with any company. Um, with my review, I am tactful, I'm kind, and I'm decent. But when you come at me, oh, it's game on because I don't care how small of a business you are you have the option to walk away from a conversation, especially when it's digital. Like, you have that option. It's recorded. It's digital. So what had happened, and I'm not going to give her name, but she is one of the owners. It was back when COVID first started. I watched Bibbidi, and I really was getting into Bibbidi. And I was like, oh my goodness. I really want to try out these candles. These people are getting them in their subscription boxes. Never had a subscription box as of that point from Bibbidi yet. So, people are opening them and they're like, oh my god, these are the best things ever. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, this one doesn't really have much of a scent, in my opinion. But, the other ones, like, I'm like, let me get in on this. There's a coupon code. I'm going to order this. I'm going to get 20% off or whatever it was at the time. Um, it was over a year and a half ago and no, I don't let go of grudges when it comes down to rudeness like this. So what happened in short <laughs> is basically I had ordered, I, I wanted a sampler, right? So I got like two or three candles. Don't really remember. It was a long time ago. And I ordered a sample pack of the wax tart melts cause I had the Scentsy like Disney villains, Mickey Mouse, whatever throughout my rooms and I'm like all right I want to try out their different you know scents so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the little grab bag right so I order a little bag of them I get a couple candles and my husband fell in love with the one candle and he was like oh that smells really good but we hadn't burned it yet 
He goes, immediately order more. And I'm like, well, shouldn't we try it out? But it takes a while to burn. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll just order some more. Well, I burnt the candles that we had. And then I placed the order. And I placed a big order, okay? Like, well over $100 of an order um, of many different items. And at the time, these they rate these as 20 bucks, But, like, at the time on their website, I think they were, like, 19 or something. Um, maybe 18. I know. Ooh, big, big deal. A dollar, right? So, what happened was I ordered, um, numerous things in the same scent. I ordered a handful of candles, a handful of, like, the tray of, like, I don't know if it came in six or eight of particular scents. And I ordered multiples of those because we knew, like, what scents we liked by that point from the, um, Scentsy holders. And I placed my order. Well, I got my order like, I don't know, three weeks to a month later. And I was missing a part of my order. And I'm like, okay. So I just reach out to them nicely. And I have all the evidence. Don't make me pull it out because I will. And I nicely reached out and I said, hey, I placed order number blah, blah, blah on this date. And I understand that it might have been confusing because I placed an order with multiple items that I'm missing the multiple items. I, I have the one of those items, but I don't have the other, like, I don't know, three or four that I ordered. And the person was very apologetic at first and said, oh, that is my bad, you know, I'm a small company. Um, I didn't expect to implode like this. Like, I get it. Like, I'm not complaining. I'm just asking for my product. Well, I saw on their Instagram that they had shipped out all their orders up to a certain date, but I still didn't have tracking for my missing items and I had placed my order a month prior. So I reached back out and I'm like, hey, I understand that, you know, this might be a little overwhelming, but I see you shipped out all these other orders. Did you ship out my remaining order? And um, I got a long lecture about how this person basically couldn't handle their business because there's too much um, going on and not enough hands to help. Now I'm like, awesome, I still wasn't rude. So anyways, long story short, uh, the person was obviously stressed out. I wasn't pushing buttons and she kept just replying back snarkily. Didn't say anything about her pins being scrapper pins or anything like that because by that point I already knew. It had been like, like two months. And um, yeah, so enough was enough. And I was like, okay, I don't, I don't want any future orders. Like I didn't cancel anything because I had received everything at that point. And I didn't even get like a thank you. I didn't get anything in, you know, I got a plain old plain Jane. I can't even find like an envelope, but I got a plain Jane envelope. Didn't even know it was from them. And then when I opened it, I'm like, oh, well, here's my missing stuff, you know? And it was just kind of like really, really poor customer service. And then it left a bad taste in my mouth because they kept emailing me back and forth trying to like start something. And I just wasn't biting into it. I wasn't. And I, I'm like, I'm better than that. I'm above that and it's not happening. So I ended up just um, telling Bibbity that my non-preferences are this candle company and do not ever send it to me. And then by this point, we figured out that the smell doesn't carry through the house. Um, it only smells good initially and the glitter's cute initially. And um, they're all scrapper pins, every single one that we had. And I'm just like, nope, don't want it, don't need it. And so, again, you've already seen the scrapper pin by now. And it has purple glitter in it. It doesn't, I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but it doesn't smell like whatever it is, it's not strong. So yeah, I am not a fan, but whatever, I'll burn it because it had to come with a package. I'm all about supporting small businesses. I'm not about supporting bullies and that's where I draw the line. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I do have a few more videos coming out your way and then we're going to have some vlogging. Weeks in Disney. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and see you real soon.